Yo, what is up guys, it's Fully Supposed here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a medieval church. There will actually be a download for this medieval church, um, so feel free to go to the description and download that. I do not actually have any of the exact um, sizes of this whole church, purely for the fact that I just built it during a time lapse, and thought instead of kind of discussing on how, I, or showing on how I built it step by step, because uh, it was such a large structure, I thought I'll leave you guys a download for it, or you can watch the time lapse and just get some inspiration from it. Um, if you want to download it, just go down to the description, obviously, and hit the download button. Uh, you would be taken to Planet Minecraft. You can download it from there, um, and then obviously you can just go into the actual world. I've transported it to a proper world, so you can either start your world from there, or you can just kind of go there and play around and just have a look at the build and how I've done it. Um, so feel free to do that. If not, you can just kind of get some inspiration for this and hopefully it will provide you with some sort of inspiration you can take away and create your own kind of style church. It's just, you know, one of those things where I generally tend to look at people's videos um, for inspiration or more, more or less because I just don't really like um, taking people's designs and copying them exactly. Um, so I like to take a bit of inspiration from them and create my own designs from them. Um, I feel like it works a lot better than just stealing someone else's design and using it. Obviously, you can take people's designs and use it, but obviously if you're gonna post it, feel free to credit them. Um, but yeah, it's just taking inspiration from someone's design, obviously credit them for the inspiration if you want to. Uh, I would more, more likely suggest doing it, but it's just something that really helps when uh, building things like this. And when you haven't really built something um, before, you always wanna just take a look, even if it's just like taking a look at real structures and um, pictures of real buildings on the internet. Obviously you can take inspiration from just real buildings. You can look at them, see how they're made, and then decide to uh, create them in your own style or try and have a go at building them in a different way or something. Um, it's just always taking that small step to just have a look around and uh, really kind of get some ideas. That's basically how you kind of get better at building. Just taking inspiration from things, uh, taking a look around, taking the time to actually do a bit of research and just get a few ideas and see how other people do it. So don't feel afraid to go around and use other people's kind of um, look at other people's videos and see how they've made a style of church or a style of castle or anything. You can just go around, have a look and see how people do it. I mean, if you're going to build it on survival, I'd probably recommend creating a build world, going into the build world and uh, building it there first. This would just have to stop you from, you know, creating a large structure in survival. And then obviously, you probably, if you don't like it, you, this is going to take a lot of time to get rid of. So creating it in survival would definitely be something, um, um, or in creative, would be definitely something I would do before building it in survival. But you see, I filled in the walls and everything. Um, the roof's really nice and done, but the walls are very plain. But I'm just kind of burning this small little frame at the front here, just for a nice little doorway. Um, kind of just deciding how I do a door. Should I do the door half open? Things like that. Playing around with different door designs. Um, you always want to test out more than one kind of way of doing something, never really settle for doing it one way, um, especially if you look, look at it and think, oh, that's not very nice, just playing around with it and um, creating a different style. Obviously, you can see the windows are kind of crosses. I actually changed that later on, so I wasn't particularly happy with the way they looked, uh, especially from the inside as well, because there was a bit of interior going on um, that I had to change around, and it just kind of crossed with the windows. So I thought I'd scrap those, um, but you're always going to run into those small problems, but they're just things you have to kind of deal with and just kind of uh, counter and just do your own thing, change it up, and you eventually get things that work and look really nice. So this is actually my first time ever building a church. I don't usually build things like churches, uh, castles and things. I just like to kind of build your, your standard little homes. But uh, since creating this YouTube channel, I really start to branch out all my builds and just try out new things. And I actually begin to really enjoy creating and building different kind of styles. Uh, especially when you guys suggest them to me. It takes me out of my comfort zone and I don't really just kind of get around to um, building things that I never really built before. And then I actually look at them and think, why have I never built this? It's something that... Uh, actually looks quite good and I'm really happy with the way it came out so I can thank you guys for that giving me the suggestions and obviously you know just taking the time to do a bit of research um, is how I basically create some of these designs a lot of you do ask how um, how I make things like this so it's just doing a bit of research having a look around seeing what kind of things you want to create um, obviously I get suggestions so there's things that I can create that people want me to do but if you don't really know what to create just have a look around on uh, things like Pinterest and Minecraft or Reddit there's so many different kind of um, places and resources you can use to get ideas to do certain buildings. Obviously, mecha bases are one thing that I really haven't ever built. Um, I always just be end up building like villages or something. Um, they're things that I enjoy building more. But uh, village, like building something like a mega base in survival, is something I would love to do. Um, but currently, I just enjoy building in creative. I do play a lot of survival. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling on so much that. Um, this church is pretty much there. I've just been kind of going around decorating the outside here with some flowers and things. 
as you can see this time lapse has not been very long i've tried to cut it down quite a lot as it's just a time lapse and i don't want you guys to sit there and watch a whole time lapse for whatever like 10 minutes of me just building this uh, instead i'll just do a short time lapse and you guys can go to the description and uh, you can download the map if you want to or you can just get some inspiration from this uh, but i am going to head over to first person and we can take a look at the inside in a second so i'll see you all in a minute peace Yo, what is up guys, it's Fully Space there, and today I'm going to be showing you around the church build that we've been coming around. So now that we're in the first person, obviously I can quickly show you that around, or show you around it, that's what I was kind of trying to say there. Um, we start off by heading around the outside here, so obviously you can see, for some reason I have a cave under here that I just need to fill out now. And I've just noticed that that is kind of a horrible display, um, but we just, we just patched, patched that up and pretend we never saw that. Uh, we just got some broken rocks and things around here, just a bit of... Um, kind of outside details. So we've got the small foliage with roses, bushes, um, leaves, and we've got a bit of cracked rocks all kind of scattered around like it's been here for a while. It just needs a bit of cleaning up. Um, and then obviously around the back we've got a few of these little pillars by the glass window here. Some pillars on the sides as well. The roof has got these little um, walls on them, kind of like little uh, spikes that go all the way up to here. Um, probably could just add one on the top with that as well. And, and we've got it going all the way across and obviously we have the tower here has some spikes and it has the actual uh, windows up here too. This one, for, seen, for some seeable reason, doesn't have a window and I really should have checked that, but there we go. We're just filling in the things that we forgot. I actually did transport this from, another, from my flat world to this world, so I might have lost a few things on the way. I did lose a few doors and things um, when I transported it, so that could be a reason why. Obviously, we've got these windows on the side, but there's a nice little pattern here against the, the, the wall. Um, and then obviously, we've got nice little slabs and things over here. I can actually hear a mob, so we will turn ourselves onto peaceful just for now, and I'm going to clear out that cave as soon as this is done. Uh, we've got leaves, we've got a nice bit of, uh, once again, rocks and everything cracked around here. Um, and I had to do a bit of terraforming to get this kind of fit in the right place. Obviously there's still these ponds and things, but because this is just going to be in, in its own world, you guys can kind of download it and do whatever you want to it. Obviously we've got a nice little arched entrance that kind of gets smaller as you walk towards it. Um, this huge door, and then we enter the door here. We're just through the bottom, it's just trapdoor surrounding a spruce door. Obviously, we've got a nice little curved inside, all kind of curved up there. And then we've got this nice little support beams going across, some bookshelves, and a bit of foliage inside as well to kind of keep it looking nice and fresh. And obviously, don't want it too boring, so we're going to add that foliage from the inside. And then, obviously, we've got some carpets uh, on top of walls. So there's carpet here, and we've got a wall block in the floor. Kind of gives us this dipped effect. I can actually hear a bat, I imagine it's in the cave below I guess. Uh, obviously it goes up and down and then we got these frames on the side of the stairs here looking like some little um, rests so we got stairs that kind of rest and that bat is that bat that, that bat's gonna really annoy me isn't it it's gonna it's gonna be there throughout this whole thing but this uh, obviously the these uh, massive benches that you can kind of sit in uh, as you would do at a church and then we come up to the front here we got a book on a lectern we got some candles these are actually you see pickles I just made them as candles why not they just look like kind of things that could be candles so i thought you know they're the closest thing we're going to get to having a candle so we might as well put them in we got these little chairs made with campfires and trapdoors surrounding them just a little trapdoor design in the back bookshelves across here obviously leaves here and more composters as well filling out some of the space and then we got banners on the front that have actually actually kind of perished in the um in the transportation of this world i've just noticed that so that's how it was meant to look uh, but for some reason they when i transported it they obviously perished and died um, a horrible death so anyway up here it's just like a flat ceiling kind of area that you can kind of go across you could probably fill it up with something up here you could also make an access to the tower but i've kind of left it hollow so you can get some light in and uh it just looks good from the outside you probably could make the tower accessible i'm not really sure if i'm going to do that i think i'm going to leave it as it is for now um as obviously I'm not quite, you know, not quite, think, not really sure how I'd do it to be honest. I think you'd have to build something here that heads up here and then have this whole top area able to walk across. Something like that. Or you could put a grand piano in the back if you layer out this. So you could layer across here and put a massive piano up there or organ or something like that. Um, and then obviously, yeah, just throwing in your own designs. Obviously I've already created this now. I'm not really 
going to change it or anything. I'm going to keep it as it is. And obviously I'll leave it for download so you guys can kind of play around with it and do whatever you want. Or you could just get some inspiration from this build and, you know, build something similar in your world. Um, obviously, if you want to look at a closer look at it, feel free to go to the description and hit the download button and just, you know, download a copy of this. Go into the world and you should spawn right in the center here. I have set the world spawn here. So even if you die, you should spawn here. And then uh, you can just check out the church or you could start from here if you really want to start from a church for some reason. Um, I actually have a medieval build for a castle, which was my previous video. If you guys haven't checked that out already, uh, there is a download for that as well. So you could start in a castle if you really want to, or you could start at this church, or you could like maybe download both maps and combine the two. That would be pretty awesome. Um, the only issue with this one is there's a cave underneath. So I'm going to sort that out now, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My skin is actually broken as well right now. For some reason, I've got skin sticking out on me. Um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe for more content. And I'll see you all soon. I just want to thank you all for the support as well. The support has been absolutely incredible. And I uh, just can't thank you guys enough. So, uh, yeah. Peace.